hello guys it's been over a month since i made this braid and i plan on keeping it on for two months so currently my hair is six weeks old and i plan on washing and also taking care of my hair so if you are interested on seeing how i take care of my hair please make sure you stick around to the end of this video so basically i'll start off by wetting my hair i'll make sure my hair is completely drenched with water and then i'll go in with my shampoo you guys already know the shampoo i use so while shampooing my hair i would make sure to just concentrate on my scalp and basically where my hair stop i won't be washing the whole hair so i don't waste my shampoo and as you can see my hair is really really greasy i ended up shampooing my hair about three times for it to lather well when washing your braids you don't necessarily need to wash the whole hair you just need to wash your scalp which is the part that is really dirty and where your hair stops so my hair is not really long so i'll just be washing my scalp and the little part of my hair I would advise you wash your hair under a shower and also you take your time to really clean your scalp and also your hair so that you don't have any product build up from your shampoo make sure your hair is really really clean before applying your conditioner So after shampooing my hair, I went ahead and applied my conditioner. I won't be applying my conditioner to my scalp directly but just to my hair. So guys, I am done applying conditioner to my hair so I'm just going to tie my hair back up in a bun and quickly take my bath and then I would get to the next step which is drying and oiling my scalp. So guys, after shampooing and conditioning my hair, it's time for the next step which is the drying process. Um, I had to wait for lights to use my hair dryer and I'll be using my hair dryer to dry my hair. So first I went ahead and applied my leave-in conditioner. You guys know I use the Mega Good Leave-in Conditioner. So I gently applied that to my hair, my hair strands and also all parts of my hair. After that I applied my DIY hair growth oil to my hair to seal in the moisture and then i made sure to apply little amount of oil on my scalp to boost hair growth and also sealing the moisture on my scalp now that my scalp is clean so after that i massaged my scalp for a few minutes before going in with my blow dryer When drying my hair, I used different heat setting for my roots to the tip. So for my roots, I used low heat and medium braids because that is where my hair is and I wouldn't want my hair to dry out fast. You don't want to use really, really high heat on your roots. So but for the rest part of my hair, I used it on full blast to dry my hair guys when you are blow drying your hair you need to have patience because this process took me more than 30 minutes it took me 32 an hour to completely dry my hair and it was very very tiring but it was really really worth it because when i was done my hair was looking so fresh and revived it looked okay and i know i'll be able to carry it for another one month because the amount I used in making this hair, guys, <laughs> there's no way I'll be losing this hair for after just one month. 
so So after blow drying my hair completely, I went in to trim the hair. This is another time consuming process because it took me about an hour to completely trim this hair. This trimming your hair would help your hair look neat and fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.